In this video, we are going to write and prove our first corollary. But before we go into that, we have to figure out what exactly is a corollary. A corollary is a statement easily proved using a theorem. And once that statement is proved, then that corollary can be used as reasoning in proofs. Now we're going to be able to use not only postulates and theorems, but corollaries as well when proving a conjecture. The first corollary we're going to learn is corollary 1. We'll denote that as C1. So postulates are P and then a number, theorems are T and then a number, and corollaries will be C and then a number. So C1 says the Q angles of a right triangle are complementary. Let's illustrate that in a picture. Here is a right triangle. The corollary says that the acute angles of a right triangle are complementary. So this angle plus this angle should equal 90 degrees. So first, triangle ABC is a right triangle and that's given to us. And we know that since ABC is a right triangle, then this angle B is a right angle. And that's by the definition of a right triangle. And since it's a right angle, by the definition of a right angle, the angle B is equal to 90 degrees. And remember, the triangle sum theorem says that all the angles add up to be 180 degrees. So the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C equals 180 degrees. But from step 3, we know what the measure of angle B is equal to. Let's just substitute 90 degrees in for the measure of angle B in this equation. And because of the subtraction property, we're able to take 90 degrees away from both sides of the equation. And look! The measure of angle A plus the measure of angle C equals 90 degrees. And if the measures of two angles add to equal 90 degrees, then those angles are complementary. And that's by the definition of complementary angles. And that is what we needed to prove, that the acute angles of a right triangle are complementary. And we concluded that angle A and angle C, the acute angles of the right triangle ABC, are complementary. Let's go over one more corollary. Corollary 2 or C2, says there can be at most one right angle or one obtuse angle in a triangle. So let's look at the different cases. Here is a right triangle. From corollary 1, we learned that the remaining angles of a right triangle are complementary, and therefore they can't be right and they can't be obtuse since they equal 90 degrees together. We also know there can only be one obtuse angle in any given triangle. 
And that's because if the angles add up to be 180 degrees, an obtuse angle is more than 90 degrees. So with a number greater than 90 degrees, the two remaining angles will have to be less than 90 degrees combined. And therefore, neither one could be a right angle or an obtuse angle. And that is corollary two.